I want to share with you today the shortcut to your inner authority in human design. In other words, what can make figuring this whole inner authority thing out much, much simpler? So in human design, there are seven different types of inner authority. I'm not going to list them out or describe the details of them. But seven different ways to know what it is that you know. Now, what's good about the concept of inner authority in human design is that what you know comes from within. It is an inner knowing. It's not a mental thing, and it doesn't come from your thinking or your intellect. What's not so great about the concept of inner authority as expressed in human design is that it's very confusing. So for example, in my human, in my chart in human design, I have what's called an emotional inner authority. I think about 50% of the population does. And what that means is that when I'm deciding something, according to human design, I need to ride out the emotional wave. I'm going to go through all the feelings before settling at the end of the emotional wave, and only then will I know what I know for myself to be aligned. Except that in the case of emotional inner authority, according to human design, I will only be 80% sure at any time. In other words, I'm never just going to know, which is a horrible thing to try to live with, right? Or let's take splenic inner authority. It's in the moment. It's like, um, it's a, it's a very immediate yes or no comes from the spleen, which is around fear and survival. And if you miss it, it's gone. That's it. Neither one of these seem very hopeful or practical and certainly not simple. And many of the people I've spoken with and clients I've worked with who have some knowledge of human design really struggle and get confused and end up overthinking things. So that's the first thing I want to help you not to do is to stop overthinking it. Don't take it so damn seriously. Okay. So here's the simplified version of your inner authority. Now, this comes from discoveries that I've made for myself that come from an understanding called the three principles as discovered by Sidney Banks. But you don't need to know anything about that for you to test this out for yourself. When it comes to this inner knowing, in any given moment, you have access to this intelligence of nature, this intelligence of life. Sometimes I call it your inner wisdom or your inner guidance. It's an inner compass that guides you to where you want to go. And it comes in the form of a knowing. It's not from your mind. It's a knowing. You just know. So at any given point, in any moment, you either know or you don't. It's either yes, no, or I don't know. That's it. And if it's, I don't know, that's okay. At some point, you'll know when you need to know and not before. So I would invite you to test this one out. You can test it out right now as you're watching this video. Just think about something that you feel uncertain about, something you're not sure about. You can even do this with a whole list of things. Write down a list of things and go through them and say, is it a yes, is it a no, or is it I don't know? And just listen within for that. Forget about everything that you've heard about human design. And you will be surprised at how many things on that list you actually know. The thing is that we know, and then we go into our thinking, and we get all insecure, and we doubt ourselves. So let's just cut to the chase here. And either you know or you don't. And if you don't know, that's okay. Sometimes there's a sense of, for me, hmm, I'm really not sure yet. Either because I know I'm feeling very emotional, that does happen to me a lot. And when I'm emotional and stirred up, I'm not clear. Or I just have a sense of not yet. 
maybe there's more information to show up. And that's okay. It doesn't mean you're getting it wrong. Even if your human design tells you you're supposed to know in the instant, please trust yourself, not your chart. And as for my reflector friends, who according to human design have no inner authority, which would mean they have no inner way of knowing anything, I just, I'm sorry, that's not my experience. I have been blessed to work with three different reflectors as clients. And just like you and me and everyone else, they have a sense of knowing that guides them in their life. And they find their own timing. So that brings me to my invitation for you. I want to invite you to experiment with this. Do the exercise I proposed here. Make yourself a list of things you're not feeling sure about. And just notice, is it yes, no, or I don't know? But test it out for yourself. Experiment with this in the real world and discover, start noticing what you know. And there are so many things that you know that are automatic, you just do them and don't even think about them. It's only the ideas and topics and decisions that we think of as important where this comes up anyway. Most of us don't spend time thinking about which side of the bed to get out of or what we're going to eat for breakfast more than maybe a few moments. So test this out for yourself. And if you've been experimenting with this idea of an inner authority that's guiding you, I'd love to know what you're discovering. Please post a comment under this video or ask any questions that you might have.